President Biden is also contending with the prospect of a partial government shutdown, as if that wasn't enough. Lawmakers have until Friday to pass a spending bill that will keep the U.S. lights on. Democrats and a fair number of Republicans also want to get more aid to Ukraine. The House Speaker Mike Johnson says Washington must address border security before sending money overseas. Put all this together, and I'm very grateful that the Democratic Congressman uh, John Larson's with me from uh, Connecticut. Congressman, good to see you, sir. Wherever I look, good to I see, you, see wherever I look, sir, I see the Democrats in something of a very difficult situation at the moment, whether it's on aid, whether it's on uh, Ukraine, whether it's on Michigan. And um, are the wheels coming off the wagon? Well, I think that uh, uh, Congress has uh, always faced challenges, and clearly we face a challenge this week in making sure we have a continuing resolution, uh, primarily because the Republicans have not got their act together. Uh, in your earlier segment, you talked about Mitch McConnell, uh, rightfully so. Hopefully, he's been able to get across to Speaker Johnson that it is not in the best interest of the country, number one, or neither the Republicans or Democrats, that there be a shutdown of government, but rather we do the work of the people and make sure that the significant agencies don't go without money that would otherwise impact everyday average citizens of this country who depend on their government. The, uh, the, the position in Ukraine is getting extremely dangerous and serious for, sure. uh, for, for President Zelensky. Uh, he summed it up last week. He cannot win without U.S. military support and further aid. He was quite clear about this. At what point do you think the House is going to say we have to do something here? He, he'll lose otherwise. Or maybe they don't. I I sincerely hope this week, because you're absolutely right. And again, I would point to the Republican leadership and point to Mitch McConnell again. Uh, you know, he's announced that he's not going to run right. for Republican leader, but he's been in the forefront of the Republicans trying to drive common sense to them that a valued ally like the Ukraine desperately needs the help of the United States of America. I can't imagine that we won't do this but uh, again, Speaker Johnson's got to put, make up his mind that he wants to put us this before right. the body. It will go for it. There will be the, the numbers are there to pass it with both Democrats and Republicans. It's already received a large vote in the Senate. Let's get let's do this for the Ukraine people, for our valued ally and stand up to the Russians for a change. The, the speaker says we must take care of America's needs first. He's referring to the border and the border issue. Um, I mean, you know, I, one could arguably say it's almost political blackmail. If you don't give me this, I won't give you that. But the stakes are too high for this. Exactly. Not only are they too high, but it, this is America's interest as well. Freedom has always been at the core of America's interest. And we are the kind of nation, the preeminent economic and military right. power in the world, that can do both. We can walk and chew gum. And we can also make sure that we're taking care of the needs on the border and the needs here at home, and also make sure that we stand by our allies and defend freedom around the globe. Stand united with the rest of the okay. Europe, with the West, rest of Europe to demonstrate this. Congressman, you, you say stand with allies, but can I put it to you that you, I could rephrase that as being stand by your sure. word, because I've just been on my own travels through Australasia, through the Gulf, and again and again you hear, particularly on Ukraine, oh, here we go again, the Americans promised right at the beginning we'll be there, but ah, when, when push came to shove, they made it domestic politics first, and they didn't really give a flying about anybody else. Well, I stand corrected by it because we should stand by our word and we have given our word and the president's word has got to mean something. And I think the concern on the 
part of the Republicans and the, on the part of Donald Trump is to discredit President Biden and to discredit his word, rather than focusing on the common concern that faces our nation, our European allies, and the people of Ukraine, all of which are equally important, both in the short and long term, to Americans, along with making sure you stand by your word. Uh, Congressman, I'm so grateful to have you. Please, sir, you do have a standing open invitation to come back on Quest Means Business. Certainly, Richard, move, I look forward to it. <laughs> as we move towards election times, we're certainly going to need you to, on our, to talk, talk us through. Thank you, sir. Very grateful.